Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about a tool that you probably do know, but probably don't appreciate to its full value, right? It's something that I see uh, people use now and then, especially for fencing. And I will show you what that is first before I show the true potential. Okay. Now let's say you have a cube, All right? Now, if I hit three to preview smooth, it's gonna look like this, right? I don't want that. I want it to look like a, um, a cube with smooth edges. So what you would typically do is go to insert edge loop. You would start to add edges, right? You would put one in there and then one in there. And that process is called fencing, right? Okay. Now it's tedious, it's a manual process, and it's just, you know, it's not ideal, but you can do it that way, right? Hit three to preview smooth, there you go. You can also bevel the edges if you like, multiple ways of doing that, all right? Now, the tool that we're talking about here, the modeling toolkit, I'll take a new cube. What you can do is go to modeling toolkit, go to the multi-cut tool, and the only thing you have to do is hold down the control key. And as you do that, it will snap edges, and as soon as you click, it will put one in. So click there, click there, click there. Super fast, super convenient, super easy, right? Now, this is something I see people do all the time. So you should say, okay, well, we know all that. All right, hit three to preview smooth, boom, there you go, yeah? Now, the thing that I wanna show you though is different. Let's take a sphere and let's introduce the multi-cut tool as a method to create very cool shapes, okay? Now, let's say the sphere, I wanna turn it into one of those 1950s lounge chairs, yeah? I'll jump to the side here, to this uh, angle right there, and what I'll do is click on multi-cut, and then instead of control, I'll hold down the shift key. And as I do that, and I left click, I can move this line anywhere I want. So if I wanted to cut sections off of this sphere, I could just do this and let go, right? So now I've got that line going on, okay? And then what I can do is hit Q on the keyboard. We're gonna right click and go to edge. I'm gonna double click on this guy, and I'm gonna go to edit mesh, detach, all right? So now if I go in here and I go to mesh and separate, I have two sections. So I can take this, I can hit W, I can move that up like so, right? So because I want to make that chair, I'm gonna get rid of this guy and I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna jump in and hit Control E to extrude. Let's do 0.1 of a thickness and there you have it, right? So all sorts of cool things you can make. Now, be aware though, that you have to check your model carefully to make sure you didn't create any end gons, right? But because Maya now has the new retopo and new remesh, it shouldn't be a problem. But you can go in here, you can hit three, you can smooth it. That edge of course is rough because it didn't clean it up, but hey, you know, that's what it is. So you can do all sorts of very, very cool things. Now. Regardless of the cleanup, because that is something you need to do, you can take that shift tool, so multi-cut, right? And you can do something like this, and do something like um, this, and something like this. You can basically do whatever you want, right? Which will allow you to make super, super funky shapes. For example, Control E to extrude, pull that out, R to scale in, right? Something like so. And then you can go in here, extrude that, tweak the offset inwards to let's say 0.02, um, you know, G to repeat, and then the W to push in, and you can have all sorts of fun, right? So yeah, that's basically it, guys. So what we're talking about here, multi-cut tool in the modeling toolkit. Have fun with that. Let me know in the comments, please, if you already did this or not, and whether it's new to you, okay? That's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.